but by the late morning and afternoon, there will be a chance for a few showers and storms. That chance will continue through the early evening, and then after that, it looks to be dry and partly clear. Thursday should be mainly dry, but there is a chance for an isolated shower or storm during the afternoon. Today, severe storms are not likely, but there may be some heavier showers that could possibly lead to local flooding. Lightning and strong winds will also be a concern, too, with some heavier sh um, showers. To, for this afternoon, temperatures will be up there in the upper 80s and low 90s, so pretty warm, a couple of degrees warmer than what we saw Tuesday. The trend will be slowly increasing. Tomorrow should be 92. A cold front will push through Friday, Friday morning. That will usher in some relatively cooler weather, still staying warm, and it will give us some pretty good chances for rain for the upcoming Independence Day weekend. For today, expect a light south-southeast wind during the overnight. The wind does stay light, should stay out of the south-southeast. For Abilene today, should be a warm and partly sunny day, high of 88. Most likely staying dry, but that shower cannot be ruled out. Overnight, low down near 71 with a partly clear sky. Brownwood today, a few degrees warmer, 91 and partly sunny. Then overnight, it looks dry and quiet with a low down near 71 degrees. And here's that seven-day forecast. We are going to be warming up Thursday. It will be hot and humid. A cold front will push through Friday morning. Stays humid, though, but temperatures will cool down a bit. Should be in the middle 80s after, after that. This weekend is the 4th of July. It is going to be uh, warm, humid, and there is a chance for some showers and storms heading into next week. It does stay below average, and chances for storms will continue through the middle part of next week.